Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tiller's Bourbon Challenge. Again, we have Richard with us, we're so excited. Here we go. Hey everybody, with today we're gonna to do a 100 proof taste test uh, challenge. And uh, we got four different ones, and three of them I've never had before. And I've never had any of them. So this is something new also. 100%, 100 proof. Yeah, 100%, 100 proof, and uh, you know, we're, Excited about it. I am. And uh, first up, we'll just tell you what we're going to try. We have no idea what's in these glasses, but one of them is Old Foresters 100. Okay. Um, we both like Old Foresters, you know, the regular Old Foresters. Which the, is 87 proof. And the Statesman Old Forester. Love it. Which is 90 something proof. It's 92, I believe, right. but it's a, it's a very expensive bottle considering right. that it's Old Forester. It's like a $58 bottle. So, but yeah, uh, you know, this is the original stuff. Like neither one of us had the 100 proof in nope. it though. We also have Rebel uh, 100 proof, which neither one of us had that before. Nope. And uh, it was called Rebel Yell until recently, and they changed the name to Rebel. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Then we have Early Times. We tell he's had some of that already. Yeah, <laughs> I've had a little bit of that. And uh, this is a bottled in bond, and uh, it's good stuff also. And Richard's never had that before. Then we got Old Tub, made by Jim Dean, which neither one of us had this before, 100%. And uh, looking forward to it, unfiltered. You know, that just means it so came good. straight out. So good. Four instead of three this time. Well, we're feeling good three. after this challenge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. right, we'll be ready to go. Get the party started. That's right. Which, uh, which color do you want to start with? Uh, we want to go left to right. That's Let's go left to right. Normal. We'll go All right. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Ooh. All right. Give it a good sniff. Ooh, I think I like that. Yes. You can tell good, it's strong. It's got a good... Uh, definitely tell it's strong. It's got a good aroma to it. Yeah. Can't really tell what I'm smelling, but it's, uh, I like it. Not as strong as I thought it would be. Hit. Not a strong hit. You can tell. Yeah. It's stronger than <clears throat> a normal, you know, 85 proof. to 95 proof. You can tell it's a little stronger, but it's it's good and smooth. It's got a uh, good smooth going in, a little burn on the, the back. But, yeah. But, um, but it's, it's good stuff. Yeah. Of course, got the oak. Like, it, like they all are going to have. Yeah, it's got some good oak. I think that kind of overpowers any other flavors that it might have. It's got a lot of oak. It does have oak. <clears throat> and, it's, and it's got some sweetness to it, to me. Yeah, I've tasted sweet. It's almost kind of a uh, kind of banana taste almost to me, you know. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's, I mean, just everybody's taste buds are a little different, for sure. You may be taking... Tasting coconuts for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. It's like coconut. It's like anybody who says they like coconut water, they're lying. <laughs> it's, not good. it's not good. It's like Meryl's got. Coconut. I'm not a fan. I mean, I'm not a fan of coconut water either. Even though I like coconut, so yeah. you're right. It's, it, yeah. Nobody likes it. Yeah. yeah. Even though they tell you they, they don't. They don't. <laughs> all right. All right. So here's the pink. And it's the same as usual. As usual. Yeah, the first one you can smell, but after that, and I tried the coffee grind thing we talked about a while back. It didn't, didn't help. Didn't seem to help. Because then everything smelled like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Which some bourbons have the old coffee. Well, in, you know. it was just my bright idea. It works in the perfume store. I don't know. Whatever. It's a good taster's choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Wow. Yep. That's a, got the sweet right off the first sip of it, you know. I think this might be a, I'm taking a guess, this might be a weeded. Good, it doesn't have quite as much as burns that first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's probably after that one, the, the burn has gotten, I've gotten used to the burn, so there's yeah. no. <clears throat> That's always one reason we do a Second go around because mm -hmm. it's never the same the second no. go around. No. Yeah, 
I um, that's so good. So far, I'm very happy with both of them. I could do either one of those yeah. at any time. Let's go clear. All right, number three. Let's get yeah. that one in. Yeah, we had not we had cheered it yet. Kind of broke our routine there. I know. Hmm. We were too. We were too enthused about getting started. We had to get started. into it. You got a hundred proof stuff here. Yeah. A drink. Yeah. Hmm. It's okay. I'm not really feeling this one. Yeah. As it's much. not as compared to the first two. It's um, it's not as good. I, I can't really describe the difference, and it's not bland, uh, but. Uh, First two had a, had the the oak and the sweet as well, and that had this tell that's kind of more, more second kind of meatier, yeah. weedier. Uh, this one does taste a little. It's not as smooth. Yeah, yeah. It's not as smooth. That's a good word for it, I guess. Um, it's not as flavorful as the other no. two. It's not bad. It's just uh, comparatively. Compared to other two. Yes. If we would have by ourselves, we'd like, It'd oh. probably be okay. Hmm. Man, we'll have, of course, we're going to go back. Yeah, we're going to go back. Um, um, let's see. So, yeah, most bourbons you're going to get are between 80 and like 90 proof. Yeah. Most. The average bourbon. The average bourbon is going to be 80 and 90 proof. And when you get above that, you're getting the strong stuff. Now, that's not obviously... Barrel proof, right. but that's higher than normal. So be careful with that yeah. <laughs> when you get the bottle of that. Yeah, the, the hunter proof is good stuff. It's really what a lot of people say bourbon should taste like. Mm -hmm. You ready for the orange? I'm ready. Right. Gotta get it in there this time. There we go. Cheers. Well, Ooh, that one I can I smell. I can smell it too. That, well, that one I can smell. That hit me real quick. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see. And, uh, that's got a really good smell. That's got a nice, I don't know, I, I, might, I might even call it a floral aroma. Yeah, the, uh, the smell is real good. Mm -hmm. But the, um, it's got a little stronger taste to it, though. But it's, it's, oh, yeah, it's strong. That's got a lot of flavor to it. That's got, that's got a lot of flavor to it. That, that, that's kind of reminded me of that Yellowstone. Yeah. It's real busy. That's what I was thinking. It's real busy. Real busy. Okay. And, uh, but the smell is totally different from the taste. Though. Yes, it is. It's like, uh, it's like you're drinking something else and... Yeah, what you're, what's going up my nose is not the same as going down my gullet. <laughs> <laughs> that is interesting. That's a new one. I've never had that before on a bourbon. Hmm. Hmm. It's got a. Um, it's got the oak. It's, it's got, got a little flavor. I can't quite distinguish what it is. Um, I can't either. Might mm. be a hint of vanilla. It's a definitely hint, vanilla. A hint. But after that, I can't think about it. I can't think of what it would be. It's almost like it's. Uh, That's know. a busy, that's yeah, a busy, busy bourbon right there. Your busy body. Mm. Wow. Okay. All right, let's start back from the beginning again and mm -hmm. go back down. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> see if we get the same taste we got in the first place. Yeah, I, I'm, I think I already know which one that one is, but we're going to, I'm going to see if I'm we'll, right. We'll see. <laughs> All right, I'm the blue, number one. I like that one. That one's good. That, that one's real good. I think it's definitely. That one's real good. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, it's smooth. It's got a good flavor. It's not overly strong. Yeah. It's just a good taste. Good. And it's got the drink. right amount of burn to it uh -huh. that you want in a hunter proof. Mm -hmm. And nothing over powerful and nothing too weak. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking number one so far is my number one. That's what I'm thinking too. But two was really good too. Yeah. Let me try this. Again. Mm. 
Yeah. That's good. That's good. Well, I gotta take one more sip of that. I'm just being yeah, thorough. Just to be sure, yeah. Just being sure. thorough. So if you got, got more of a burn in the, the aftertaste. That's got a different taste than any of the others. Any of the others. To me. Yeah. Mm. I'm not saying it's not good. It's got a, just got a oh, completely yeah. different taste than the other three. Right. Thinking, yeah, first and third, first and third so far. We're blue and clear in our case. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I was, I was thinking the same thing. All right, so, so I kind of know a little bit about the them because we talked about it yeah. before we got started, just a little bit. So that's why, and I know since they are all so similar, except for that one, I think I know which one it might be. Yeah. Yeah. A little more of a it's got more of an alcohol taste to it. Yes. And I think I know which one that one's gonna to be too. Yeah, I think I know which one it's a yeah. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going Alright, so before I make my choices here. That's it. Hmm. Don't, don't look. Over yet. No, don't flip them over yet. Don't I'm look. Ah, she's being nosy because she's wondering too. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, you. Uh, HR1 and Katie has the list to tell us which one it is. We're yeah. not quite ready to see it yet. All right, okay. So, we ready for Alabama football tomorrow? Oh, yeah. It's I'm so glad it's, it's college mm. football in general. Yes. Mm. That's what we like down here in the South. That's right. I mean, we, and our UAV Blazers right, won the. Right. Well, I mean, we like some of the. Uh, I like some of the NFL. Yeah, some of the NFL. And I watched a good Penn State Purdue game last night. Yes. It was a really good game. So, it was really I good game. Looking forward to football yes. season. Yes. Absolutely. Well I mean, I can sit back and watch two teams I don't care less about. Exactly. Well, I love it. Yeah. Right. I, love it. I do that with college football. NFL, it's kind of got to be. Yeah, it could be certain teams. It's right. got to be the Falcons. Yeah, Packers. I, I, I like the Falcons, you know. There's some teams yeah. I watch, but other than that, I'm not gonna just. As a kid, I was afternoon. a big yeah, Steelers fan, you know, and kind of every time. It's like on a Sunday afternoon, I'm not gonna sit down and just watch a game. No, whatever's on. You gotta care about. But it. when it comes to Saturday, I can sit all watch day and watch long, yeah. whatever game's played. Now, I do like me some Tennessee Titans too. You know, and yeah. at the end of the night, you at least Hawaii's still on. It might be midnight, <laughs> yes. but we didn't yes. watch Hawaii. There, there, is some, there is some college football along from 11 o'clock. Yeah. To one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. If you want to watch it, that's why I like college yeah, football. Mount West and yeah. We we sit Absolutely. there and watch the Hawaii and who was it? Uh, I don't know, but oh, Hawaii got beat too. Oh, it was Vanderbilt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's and, right. Yeah. I, I, and that, I saw that. Yeah, saw that on. All right. So I am going to make my pitch. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna go blue. blue. First. That's what I'm going to First place. I'm gonna switch this clear around. For second place. That's the thing, the same thing. And the pink is going to be third, and orange is going to be last. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yes. <clears throat> and, uh, I'll well, agree. I'll last agree. time I was here, we was off a little bit. This we, time we had we, one off the yeah. week before that when we did it. We were exactly the same. And that's yep. when Rob was here. We had all three the same. Yep. And this last uh, time, though, we were just. Uh, and, and the thing was, last time we did it together, uh, those two had, were so close. Your first, mine was second. If I would take two more sips, who knows? I might have picked the other way around. They were you close. Might have picked the other yeah. They were both they really were good. They were so close. That's what so I had. Good. It was between the bullet and the four rows, the small yes. batch. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they were both real good. Yes. And I and I had some more of that bullet last night <laughs> when, I, when I got home from the pool hall. I poured me a glass of that bullet. I'm like, let me get some more of this. So I did that awesome. for, um, while I was watching my last couple of news. Channels. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, so let's go with fourth place first. Fourth orange. Place. What is I, orange? Orange. I'm guessing Old Tub. Nope. No. Orange is Old Forester. Old Forester. Now well, that is surprising. That is surprising. I yeah. know. Y'all thought y'all knew, and y'all did not. No, we thought it was before because you know we're kind of we talk about you know we both love Old Forester, the regular Old Forester. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and in case you didn't know, you said Old Forester is the number one selling uh, bourbon, bourbon in Alabama. Alabama. And okay. They sell more 
This and Alabama, they do any other state. Yep. Okay. And um, which means Alabama loves to drink. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good stuff. There's it's, a lot of people uh, out there that I, I talk to. Big bourbon collections. You know, uh, I like all the rare stuff, the high dollar stuff. But their go-to is Old Foresters. Yeah. And um, but when you when you go to any of the local bars around here, it's going to be the basic 87 proof. Right. So that 100 just seems like it's a little yeah, well, too I, much I, for my taste buds. Like I said, if we drink it, it along, who knows? It, uh, it, I'd probably like it if I drank it on its And own, it's supposedly uh, my old forester, the, the first one to bottle bourbon. Yep, ever. First first bottle bourbon ever. Ever. Yeah, Mr. George Garvin Brown was the first to seal his bourbon in a glass bottle. Wow. So That's neat. Mm -hmm. That's, that's one Very of the cool. Lines of Very the, cool. Yep, yep. Now, I'm just, I'm just kind of surprised. I thought that would be the old tub, to be honest with you, because yeah. of the unfiltered part of it. Oh, interesting. Who knows? Well, what's pink? Pink is Rebel. Rebel 100. Well, that's, mm -hmm. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Rebel is, what I said earlier, is a... Uh, used to be Rebel it, Yale, but now yeah. Rebel. Yeah. And they and, changed the name that long ago. It, it's all weeded. It's the only one out of the three that are this weeded. Um, the 100 is the best selling out of the all the gravel. It's really good stuff, though. I mean, that you know, hmm. I, when the first sip I had of it, I really liked it. Let me try it again. Yeah, so <laughs> that's what I'm doing. As you're talking about it, I'm going. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, so anyway, they, some of the Rebel Yale bottles are still out there. If you can find one, it will be a collector's edition. Yep. You know, just kind of put it aside, put it in your collection. Um, I may go start looking for one, you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, you know it's, it's good stuff. I liked it. Okay. And what was clear? Clear is old tub. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's unfiltered. And oh, uh, by the way, let me, let me say the reason why I thought that was going to be the rebel is because it's the weeded because it right. tastes a whole lot different than yeah. the other three because it's the only one that's a weeded bourbon. And mm -hmm. it tasted different than the, any of the rest. That's why I, that wasn't surprised that that was going to be the weeded one. Yeah, and another thing about the uh, I did, I, did, I didn't mention about the Rebel. Uh, the guy that started was Weller, who has oh, the Weller bourbon that's okay. really good. Who you know, oh yeah, I don't have any of that. It's, it's another one that's hard to get, just like the Pappies and some right. other stuff. And uh, but he's the one that started Rebel. And uh, suppose when they first made it, it was just going to be sold, sold in the south, but so many people liked it. You know, you got dis yeah. distributed all over. I'm not a bourbon aficionado, but there's something that I started reading not too long ago. There, there was Weller and then something else that you can mix together, and it's supposed to be the package. It's two different Wellers. It was uh, two different yeah, Wellers. Yeah, I, okay. I don't remember which numbers they are. They go okay. by numbers. Okay. It's poor, it's called Poor Man's Pappy. Poor Man's Pappy, yeah. And if this lady one day, we'll try Poor Man's Pappy. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I can't afford the well, real not paying, shelling out uh, what they want for Pappies. No. But anyway, uh, Old Tub, though, uh, it's unfiltered, and supposedly this is a limited edition bottle. Uh, you know, they, this is the original Jim Bing's great-grandfather, or great-great-grandfather, was, this is what they caught it when he started up their, their uh, bourbon. And then eventually when they got to Jim Bing, they changed the name, and the formula changed over time. And, uh, and they just brought this back several years back, and for a while you'd only get it at Jim Bing. And at the distillery. It is the distillery, okay. yeah. Cool. And that's, then that's and over recent times, they put it out where you, know, you can buy it in the store. And I saw it on the shelf. I'm like, wow, old tub. And I didn't think I could get it. Cool. And uh, so I don't know how long they're going to do that, but you can get it now, though. Okay. So, number so one. our winner was early time. Early time. That's and I'm not surprised. Not, that does not surprise yeah, me. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, this is, uh, this is that's another one stuff. here in uh, Alabama. It's, it's hard to get. Mm hmm. Um, you know, there's a certain Saturday of the month that our state stores here will sell certain ones that are hard to get. This is this is in there. They don't always have it. And it's Bottom and Bun, which uh, I think also, uh, which this one was, uh, the O-Tub was Bottom and Bun. No, yes. yeah, it is. Yeah, no, O-Tub was Bottom right. and Bun. Top of the bottle. That's right. Bottom and Bun, which uh, a lot of people don't know this, but it has to be a product of a single distributor in one season, an age at least four years minimum and um and, and be in a federal bonded, bonded warehouse. warehouse yeah okay and it's got to be at least 100 proof it's got to be at least 100 proof mm -hmm. uh, yeah and bought it 15 50 percent 
Yep. Okay. And uh, but I've always liked this. Obviously, you can see I've drank it before. It's, right. It's good stuff. And, yes. Um, well, that's, and you notice out of all of them, well, except for Old Forest, it's got the screw top, which I have no idea why they didn't do a corky. No, two of them are corky. Um, Rebel well, and Old Tub. Yeah, but Old Foresters don't. No. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but this does. Uh, well, at least now I know not to go with the Old Forester Hundred. Yeah, <laughs> just stick with your regular. I, I, I will stick with my regular and my state and my statesman. <laughs> I, I like the statesman. Drop the yeah. Move your water, Randy. Okay, there we go. There you there go. go. Beautiful. So tonight, this was the winner. Really good stuff. And actually, I like all three of these. Uh, none of these were bad. Right. Um, of course not. And we were, I was very surprised when Forster came in fourth. Yeah, me too. But now I know the 87, the standard 87 is probably the best. What's the number one seller? It's their, yeah, it's their number one seller. And that's that's the one where they always have it stocked. Because it's, stocked. It's, it's the one that goes off the shelf the fastest. And uh, eventually I'd like to have that Old Forester challenge where we have all different types of Old Forester only. Yeah, we've got, we got to do the Statesman. Yeah, and that'll be the, the Statesman, the regular, and the 1910. I think that's what we ought to try. Yeah, that would be a good one. Yeah. And I've seen what other people pick in it. That don't mean we won't pick it. Exactly. And like we said, this is just our opinion. Someone yeah. else might have been sitting here and picked it totally different. We have similar tastes, and so mm -hmm. we knew the, the fact that we picked the same, you know, you know it's not that normal. Yeah. It's normal. Yeah. But, but uh, had a good time. We had a good time, and uh, until next time. Until next time. This is our picks. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like. Please subscribe. Um, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It just lets you know when we put new material out. So, and please share. We Thank you so much for being here with us tonight, and we'll see you later.